uh, hi. Just wondering if I were an otter and you were an otter and we were sleeping, would you hold my paw so we wouldn't drift away from each other? Uh, I'm, I'm just wondering. I've come up with the phrase Blarbo-in-law, which is a fictional character who isn't like your Blarbo from your shows, but it is your mutual's Blarbo, who you nevertheless have developed strong opinions about due to the long-term Dash exposure. Okay, so my understanding so far of Blarbo, it's... Zero C's? Is that... Uh, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna slowly decipher this as we go. And as soon as I figure it out, you're gonna change Blarbo to something else. In every supernaturally themed series, you will encounter people who more or less seriously ask, why does nobody use a gun? And I'd like to thank Whole Horse and Guido Mista for preemptively answering that in JoJo's by always managing to somehow shoot themselves. Just when I think I understand JoJo without watching JoJo, something more JoJo happens. Let me out of this sewer, man. I could be your best friend. I could be the best thing that's ever happened to you. Yeah, I don't know about that one. Baikal seals look like if you do so much as breathe a single molecule on them, they'll disintegrate into a small puddle of tears. They look like they make the laminated sheet wobble sound unprompted and constantly. They actually look like that emoji with, with the big, sad anime eyes. Andy, put up the one. Hopefully you know the one. That's it. Wish my life was like a 90s movie where all my friends work in record stores and bookshops and coffee shops and we see really cool bands and small little clubs and get breakfast together and like hang out on roofs and shit. Man, why you gotta do this to me? I'm becoming a snake, so I will never have joint pain again. See you losers later, I'm going to warm myself on a rock in the sun. King, do you know what snakes are made of? Like, huge mood, but they are joints all the way down, also. Well, team, it seems I don't actually know anything about snakes. Damn it. Thanks, Hank. You really taught me a lot about propane and propane accessories. And I'll tell you what, young man. I don't know what a heart of the cards is, but I know for certain you've got the heart of a Texan. This is exactly how Kingdom Hearts is like. Constantly opening and closing this app like a fridge. Guys, I'm officially diagnosed with bed too cozy disease. Just put a blanket over me and let me go to sleep now. Shit, I have more of these to do. Hold on. It looks good, so I feel good. And I feel good, so it looks good. Are two contradictory moods I have when wearing some outfits. And if life has taught me anything lately, it's that some truths can be contradictory and both still be true. That's why we have pretty clothes and comfy clothes, and they both slay. Are you gonna slay it? First off, I always slay it, queen. Secondly, yes. I really don't think there's a man more charming than Scar, to be honest. You are not immune to his good times. Okay, what I love about this is that based on who I reblogged it from, it's probably about Minecraft, but literally my only context for Scar as someone's name is the Lion King, and I still hard agree. I was about to say, this is weird to say about the dude from Full Metal Alchemist, but why not? All right, let me just chime in for a second. Um, I don't know how many of you are playing the Disney gotcha game with the villains, but Andy, put up the picture I sent you with Scar. <laughs> Fucking damn. God, can you imagine if Donald Trump became president? There'd be like a new bubonic plague and he'd be like, oh, drink bleach about it. Yeah, throw back to when I took acid for the first time in 2013 and predicted the events of 2020 like the fucking Oracle of Delphi. Is it Delphi or Delphi? Whatever. <sighs> Being a kid was so fucking funny. We would just go around lying to each other's faces constantly to impress each other. One of my classmates told me he was the first person to visit the sun. And when I asked him what it was like to prove he was lying, he said he didn't remember because they sent him there when he was just a baby. And to this day, the mental image of NASA launching an unsupervised baby into the sun still cracks me up. It's just, I kind of want to see this now. Everyone, meet my jar of jars. His name is Jar Jar. 
And when you shake it, cha-cha clicks. Get out!